Well, while this is all going on, and I still don't really know what's happening, I'm not really paying that much attention to it. If you like the video, make sure to drop the like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And then head on over to twitch.tv forward slash thirdlegtv and follow me over on there because that's where I'm playing it live. So you can sort of help me out on the missions, give me some input, tell me what weapons I should use, and things like that. You ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. Get on with it. Who will you be without a squad? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Yeah, okay. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice. Tough as nails and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together. Oh my god, this did not go on a bit, didn't it? House, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. Good, let me get, get into it then. It began here and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. Yeah, I thought it would be as so easy as just killing her. <coughs> right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Right, okay. Um, so what have we got to do? Take her out, find the case file. Easy. Planning. Oh, at least I've got some stuff now. I suppose I can't do anything major, though. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll use that, thanks. Coins. At least I could bring some coins with me as well. I could have a container instead. Oh, do I have any other outfits? Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful suit. Does it matter which one I'm wearing? I like the cowboy one. That's nice, the raven suit. I'm going crimson red. Hell yeah. Take a red pistol as well. I don't know whether to take the coins or take the briefcase. Because if I take the briefcase, surely... Is that one that you can smuggle things in with? Or is that one where they still search it and find the stuff? Do you know what? We might go that. Oh, smuggled item. There we go. Do that. And then that way. Yeah. There we go. Just in case we get searched. We're going to do that. Sweet. Let's go. Still just doing it on casual because I can't be bothered to, you know, be serious with it. Thornbridge Manor. Yes, we know. You just told us all this. home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, Jet. Okay. Oh, look at that suit. I want that suit. I'd love to have a, f a full red suit. Okay, so am I allowed to just walk up to the house or what? Like, am I invited to the funeral? Let's find out. 
Okay, so that's the PI. He's obviously the most logical way in, but that guard knows I'm here. So he's going in. I don't think the others can see me. If we vault over that. that. Right, okay, the now they can. Hired by Madame Carly this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. You should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlisle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlisle. That's what I was thinking of doing. But those fuckers over there can see me. So I don't think I'm allowed to. Did that just alert him? No. Where did that just go as well? Crap, I lost it. How am I going to get him? There's people everywhere. How the hell am I getting to him? Right, okay. I may have to use a different plan instead. I don't see how I'm going to get past these people. I need to find a way in. Even if I just get a guard's outfit, surely that helps. Got to be quick. Get in. Okay, so we've got some guards there. There's guards everywhere, man. How am I supposed to get around all of this? I don't know how I was supposed to get him. I tried throwing the brick. That didn't work. Crap. Is he coming this way? That's gonna hurt. Well, that worked, luckily. Just so happened to be in the right place there. That was a bit of luck. <sighs> Got very lucky. He could have easily walked the other way. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming. <coughs> notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started, as you wish. Yeah, let's just get started. Right, she's going upstairs. Just keep calm. I feel obliged to point out. I've never known people to go up the stairs so damn slow. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. 
You'll probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madam Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Hey! <laughs> Get it? Because I am going to kill her. It's funny, you see. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madam Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. Then I, if I needed to be searched. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madam Carlyle suspects foul play, and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you. So please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Okay, thank you. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Okay. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I'm sure there's more to find in Zachary's Right, room. okay. That's fine. Well, at least we know that's there now. Thank you. What else do we have? Laptop. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Oh, there's the dead body. Okay. Didn't realize. Stop giving me the hint. I know. You want me to use the camera? Throat markings indicate a rare, short lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Okay, so he's poisoned. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Hmm. Zachary's suicide note. Oh, can I not actually read it? I'm haunted, oh, I'm haunted by horrible past choices and they're all consuming consequences. Alexa was the raft keeping me afloat. Without her, I cannot go on. Goodbye. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Where is she? She's up there. Am I allowed to go? No, not allowed in there. Do not go in there. Am I allowed upstairs? When I mean, they're not saying no. Not yet, anyway. He's going to say no, though. Fine. We won't go through there then. Let's go talk to Mr. F Butler. Hello, sir. Hello. And down we go. Disappointed I don't get to wear my red suit anymore, though. I like that red suit. Hello, Mr. Butler. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, 
I do not have an alibi. He did it. Kill him now. In my office at the time of death. Kill him. Here is the material we have prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Right, okay. This is very useful information, 47. So you've got all these different people, so I've got to go investigate with them, do I? So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps do you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Okay, but where are all their quarters then? Because didn't that just, like, they said I weren't allowed to go where I wanted to go. I don't get it. What is that? Oh, okay. It's a duster. Well, that makes more sense. Um, are they the different people in their quarters or something? Maybe they are, maybe they're not. I don't really know. Um, the oldest, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that doesn't actually say where they are. Okay. So, what, is this the floor I'm on at the moment? Alright, okay, let's go talk to people then. Okay, so he needed money. That's motive. Just calm the fuck down, Ant. You know I'm good for it. I'm a Carlisle. I'm made of money. Just lean back and enjoy the interest. Meanwhile, go and have some drinks on me. No, try. I'm gonna hang up. Let's talk when you calm the fuck down. Patrick Carlisle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? Don't tell my mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that it? What did you think of Zachary? Creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexa used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married mum. I don't have to worry about the inbreeding so customer in the circle. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Okay, so he had opportunity and motive. He needed money. Obviously he was there. Where the hell is the greenhouse? Is the <laughs> um? It doesn't help when it doesn't. Is that the greenhouse? I I don't really know where the greenhouse is. Do I follow her or him? Him. That's a him, not a her. If I follow him, because I need to know if he has an alibi.
That is a big fucking greenhouse, isn't it? Right, round the back of the greenhouse, he said, didn't he? I'm not doing that one yet. Sorry. I need to get around the back of the greenhouse. He did say the round the back, didn't he? Not just at the back. Looking for a little button. Need a little button. The hell is that? Oh, okay. It's a log. I'm not seeing a button though. Let's see if he finds it. Are you holding up? I've been really bad. Me too. I can't believe Zachary is dead. Yeah. And Patrick is really out of me now. He sent me here to find a button he believes he lost. But I think he's just trying to be alone with a new girl, Elaine. Why don't you just stay here for a while and relax? Looks like you need it. Sounds really nice. I think I will. I'm not seeing a button though. I will never again meet someone like Zachary. I can't bear to think what will happen to all these rare plants now. I know, Oliver, I know. But we shall all miss him dearly. <laughs> Thought maybe he found the button then. So, hang on, rare plants, right? Did, didn't it say that that guy was poisoned by a plant? So if that's the case... I can't get in. Crap. Well, I'm not finding the button. Well, I'm not seeing a button. And if he was poisoned by a plant, then that means... That that's a perfect opportunity for them to poison. Right? I'm not seeing a way in for me either. Definitely not seeing a button though. Okay, they're just repeating the same thing, and I'm not seeing a button. Right, okay. Oh, look, there's a boat. That's my escape, I'm guessing. Right, okay. So, that also gives him the means, then. If he said he was out by the greenhouse, that gives him the means to get the poison from the plant. So, means, motive, opportunity. That could be a very quick, easy fucking solve. I better go ask the others, though, just in case. Can I break in using a screwdriver into that place? Or is it only... with a crowbar? Yeah, okay, I need a crowbar for it. Fair enough. If 
Fine. Let's go do some questioning then. Okay. Well, th th at least I've got a main suspect at the moment. suppose that's a bonus, isn't it? Okay, that didn't really give me much. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Well, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and your wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. The, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Is that all? Tell me about Zachary. Zach! <laughs> Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger bore. He's better off dead. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Right, okay. That didn't really give me much information either. So far, it's still the guy who said he was by the greenhouse. Is there actually anyone in here? There are aliens. Oh, yeah, there. Hello. Yeah, dude, I'm trying to talk to you. Come on. Sorry, did I interrupt ya? I apologise, mate. There you go. Can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes. This dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He'd never admit it. But understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight. If that's all, I can you tell me. Okay, well, we've, they've got a matching alibi, so... I'm expecting to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by his mother's supposed death. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? 
this plant, mother, and the staff are all the company we had. Anything else I can... Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? I mean, apart from the fact we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking, Zachary found dead in his bed this morning, or perhaps as the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy, your mother was surely a strong opinion on it. Well, their alibis match, so nah, kind of leaning towards the uh, little guy at the moment. Am I allowed in the kitchen? I think I am. Right, I need my map though. <laughs> kind of a bit lost. So what I've done... Wait, what? I thought I did that one. Okay, well, we'll do these, and then we'll head back over to that one. But I still think it's the guy that was in the library. With the candlestick. Hey! She's still upstairs, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that the one that he said he was um, behind the thing with? I deserve romance. Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I, I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner, and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe, like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Crap. Well, that gets rid of Patrick as my main suspect. Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside. I except Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and uh, we had to hide. Alright, okay, so Emma then. Patrick, will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Do right, she will. She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. Right, okay. Did all the groceries around? Okay, 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 okay. Um, yeah, some of the delivery people. Through, through there? Yeah, through there and to the left. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Is it? Which one? What? Right, okay, so in here. And I don't have the key for it. Right, okay, so I'm guessing that's where the thing is that I need to grab the intel. Oh, it's a big sword. How am I getting in, though? I Is it only... Uh, I could do it with a crowbar. But that's going to make a lot of noise. So, wait, where is Emma, then? Right, okay, so upstairs. Okay, so I could do with heading upstairs then, I suppose. What are these... Ca is that what I'm supposed to scan with my camera or something? Right, okay, so... Hang on. Straight across. Yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, was there a camera thing in here? No. It's fine. Okay, let's go talk to this guy again if I can. I don't know if I will be able to, but... No. But his alibi does check out, so... Okay. And then I ended up following that guy, didn't I? So, yeah, that's why I didn't check up this way before. Uh, okay. Oh, what's that room? Oh, bathroom. Big bathroom. I don't think I need to worry about the soap. I think we're alright. Yeah. yeah, we went straight out there. We need to go in here. <coughs> Grrr. Rebecca Carlin. Can you 
tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. Okay. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is there anything else you want to ask? Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do have All right, okay. What is this thing that it wanted me to photograph, though? Is it the table? Am I allowed to use my camera? I assume I am. Okay. Well, at the moment, it's pointing towards Emma. So, I've still got photo there, photo there, photo there. Down here. That's fine. We can do that. So straight across into the next room. First of all though. Right, okay. So they make noise if I go near them. Right, okay. Let's go back in here then. I did already talk to him. What am I photographing? That's something over here. What though? What over here is so important? I'm confused. Oh, there you go. That's fine. Might as well get all the information as well. Let's quickly uh, go outside. What is it over here, though, that I'm supposed to be getting? Something here. I'm very confused at what he wants me to photograph here. It is definitely outside, isn't it? Yeah, right here. Hmm. Okay, no idea what he wants me to... Oh, the, ah, I see. Footprints found on terrace behind the sitting room. Yeah, that doesn't really help me that much, though, does it? You know? Right, okay. That's a cigar box. 
Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Was something to photograph in here as well on the table, I'd assume, right in the middle. What are we photographing here? Well, okay, that's just to do with a speech. So what, we've done everything on this floor? Apart from in there, which I can't get into at the moment. I need to get his key. Okay, so back into the sitting room. Take a left, straight down to the stairs. I know I turned left early, but it should be fine. It's just down here and to the right. Okay, stairs. What have we got to do up here then? It's really hoping that guy's alibi wouldn't check out. It would have made my life a lot easier. Right, so if I face that way. Right, okay, so go left. Yeah. Oh, fuck off with the fucking server. Jesus, man. This game. Can I steal that? Mine. <laughs> that is the door to Rebecca's room. And I can't get in. Even though I need to get in. You're telling me that they don't have an ensuite. We we safe? I think we're safe. Come on. As long as they don't come in, I'm happy. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from nine PM. Okay, so weren't Rebecca. Night. Sorted. What am I supposed to be taking a photo of in here? Okay. Okay, well, don't know what the point of that was. I feel completely blindsided here. I have no idea what's going on. It's, it's all gone. Sorry, gotta go. I'll call you back later. Well, 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 what would you find? Uh, Any special guests you'd like to meet this evening that came here in person? Christ! Really don't have a clue, do you? I'm talking about. Arthur Edwards, can we get back what he stole from me? So far, it looks like we can. All the transfers of funds and privileges I've been through have been bulletproof. He intercepted the arrangements our office worked years to put in place. That's what the Johnny Yates should be here. He made the arrangements, he should bloody well be the one to clean up this whole mess. I, uh, I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Don't kill the messenger. Please, continue your efforts, Mr. Paul. Okay. No idea what the hell that was all about, but sure. Yeah, if you say so.
I'm going to assume I'm not allowed in there. No, definitely not allowed in there. Don't, don't even attempt to go in there. Can I just walk out the other side of this door or do I have to climb all the way around again? No, that's fine. Okay. Crap. <laughs> okay, so the... Wait. So that's Zachary's room. Oh, I didn't take a photo of something. That's alright. Can I come back free? You good? We good? We good. Something in here I'm supposed to be taking a photo of. Ah, okay. No? I thought it'd be that as soon as that's scuffed. That's definitely where the person came in from, though. I would have thought. Okay, that's just a ladder. That's not that important. Right, okay, where are we going now? Need need my map back. Oh, no, don't do that. Um, over to the other side. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. I could take the secret room, but we'll just go the normal way. That's fine. Right, so down here and on the left we have something to photograph. That was here, weren't it? Nope. All the way to the end and to the left. Ignore me. I'm being stupid. I would guess there's a secret room for that. Somewhere. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Alright, okay. So if I look there. Yeah, it's definitely to do with that. Yeah, there's got to be a secret room. Right, okay, we're back. Where is the secret room, though? Because I don't... Oh, no, that, that wasn't a thing to take a photo of, was it? It was something to investigate. Yeah, I don't know. I was looking at it like it was a photo thing. It's not. It's one of the fucking questioning things, but I don't quite get it. Right, okay. Well, we got to go in this room anyway. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. And I can't get in there. How am I getting into Emma and Gregory's room through this window? I I assume. What is that? Okay. Oh, was there another window that I could have climbed out of? And I didn't see it. Yeah, I could have gone into the bathroom there and done it, but never mind. How am I getting in? Hello, I need an open window, please. Okay, there's a balcony. 
mean, it doesn't count as trespassing, so I think we're actually okay. Wrong button. Right, okay, so through there and to the left. Well, that's evidence. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? Shoes and footprints found in Emma and Gregory's room matching... Right, okay, so they match the ones outside. Yeah, I think it's Emma and Gregory then. Now, this is interesting for a letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. Okay. Then we can put that down. Is that everything here done? Yes. Okay. I'm not allowed to go up any higher, am I? I still want to know what that is, though. That's what I'm getting... Oh, is that... Oh, I left my gun behind, I think, didn't I? Yeah. I only just realised I'm not carrying my case anymore. Not very smart. Okay, so I need to go upstairs somewhere. Need a way upstairs. Okay, that's only down. Where the fuck are the stairs going up? Oh, round by her, weren't they? Yeah. Which I'm not allowed past, right? You can turn me away again? Sorry, sir. Can't let you through here. Not happy. Yeah. That's fine. Right, so I'll question them. I need to... What do I need to do? Um, go to the greenhouse. Yeah. Wait, what way was the greenhouse? Oh, straight in front of me. Okie dokie. Wait, am I still too high up? I am. I need to go down some stairs. God damn it. I'm getting myself all turned around in this bloody place. It's a nightmare. Where the fuck are the stairs? There. Getting all turned around. <coughs> oh, I wish I could go into a jog at least. Come on. Hate fucking just walking everywhere. Oh, no. That was a sprinkler. Hose. Right, let's go in here. And we can get the evidence then, can't we? Although that's a garden key, I mean greenhouse keychain, not the actual key. Yeah, so I have the keychain, but not the key. Fuck. The thing is, I know that that guy has a key, doesn't he? So maybe I'm going to have to take out that guy sitting down. 
but there's nowhere to actually dump the bodies, is there? I mean, there's a crowbar there. Am I allowed to pick that up? I am. But that's just going to give every, give me away, isn't it? Like, there's nowhere to really... Yeah, that's an illegal action. Hmm. Right, he's walking back. The only other thing would be to distract that guy and steal the key from him. <coughs> but there's nowhere to dump the body. So that's what you, could cause the problem there. Can you let me in, please? I don't know why I wouldn't be allowed in there, of all places. So, come on. Walk away, mate. Walk away. Walk away. Thank you. I don't think they can see me. Oh, I didn't pick up any poison, did I? Crap, I should have picked up poison from the kitchen or storeroom or wherever it was. I'm guessing that's what I was supposed to do to distract him. I don't have poison, do I? No, missing poison. The only thing I can think is to hope that this doesn't make too much noise. No, I think we're alright. And it's not actually trespassing, so I am allowed in there, it's fine. This is absolutely fine for me to be here. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. No map. Oh, I see. It's right there. This is a table showing leaf. Okay. So, what well, I found the clues everywhere else. Now it is just all about. And then I've got... Right, okay, so it's either him or it's that one. It's got to be that one, let's face it. Um, so I've got all the clues. I think we're good. I just need to get into his office, which I'm hoping is what's going to happen when I go talk to him. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. Wait, Impressed. but if she's going to... suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. No, why, why don't we just let Emma go kill the one that we've got to go kill anyway? Wouldn't that make more sense? Then that way we don't have to do anything. We just let her die. Sorted. That's what makes sense to me. Please stay back. Very confused. Hello, buddy. Stop walking away. I need to talk to you. Hello. Hello. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carly. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Oh, is he taking us up into her office now? Which is good, because we got the poison. I need his key, though. That's the problem. I need to get into his office. Although, no, I still have the fucking crowbar on me, don't I? Yeah. You idiot, Scott. Literally got the, the crowbar to break into his office. That's right, I could do that later then. It's fine. I'll do that on the way out to get the other thing. Let's take care of her first. Are they going to want to search me, all these people, though? That's the thing. If they want to search me, I'm going to have to drop a lot of stuff quickly. OK, 
Come on, butler. God, you're so slow. Right, okay, we're good. We're good to go past. There's evidence in that in these places, though. Am I allowed to just wander around? Am I allowed to step foot through here? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Crap. How am I going to do this, though? Um, not really anything I can do. Other than just tell her. And like, I'm in here, but look at all the people. There's no way that I'm going to be able to take her out. Shut up, love. Try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? Um. I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you? Oh, I see. I expected you might show up. I'll give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. No? What a shame. What? No, I'll do it. I'll have to see to it some other way then. What? No, I'll do it. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'll do it. Not a problem. I want to know what's in the, the other guy's room, though. I need some privacy. Thank you. Hello, sir. Right. Am I allowed to go past you guys? Work forty-seven. That's the file on Arthur Edward secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Mission complete. Well done, 47.
Right. Anything to take a picture of there? No. There is in here though. So I need to go downstairs and find my way. How am I getting these photos though? Hello. There's a door over there. Yeah, I need this. No, that ain't photos, is it? That's just information. Crap. I was doing so well, but then I got greedy by wanting to search everywhere. Crap, they all know what I look like now. I think. Oh, no, that, no, it's because I'm in an area I'm not allowed to be in, isn't it? I think. Yeah, it was. It was because I was in an area I weren't supposed to be in. That's fine. That is not a problem. I'm taking Unicorn Horn. Okay, so yeah, they're just peepholes. Ooh, that was a bit close though, wasn't it? A little bit risky. I still don't know how I'm supposed to get anything from there though. I haven't quite worked that one out. So I want my suit. No, I don't. If I take my suit, then I've got to try and sneak out again, don't I? Whoa. Right, okay, we're fine. We're good. We're okay. How many exits are there? Is it just the one exit? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, stairs. <coughs> that's fine, though. A little bit risky doing what I just did, but there you go. So that, that yeah, that's the only exit that I can see. What was in his office, though? That's the other thing I need to know. Um, and also, what the, f what is this clue over here? Can't work out what it is. Is it supposed to be this? Like, am I supposed to listen to what they're saying and then it's a pathway thing? I think it is. Yeah. Okay, that's fine though. Alright, let's do the stairs. Yeah, I think that's just another storyline that you can do. That one. Right, so if we come down, we then want to go out. Yeah, so I want to go over there. I want to know what's in his room. No need to panic. Oh, I could have done something with that, could I? Okay. Yeah, I don't have the key. Okay, I picked up his list. If you say so, golf club. Okay, that doesn't unlock anything. Is that everything done? I think it is. And I left my case upstairs. But I'm not going back for it. Screw it. We're done. We did the mission. We're good. Let's um Let's get out.
Still, though, at least they got all the uh, funeral plans ready for her. I suppose that's good. Come on. Ugh, it's so far away. Why can't I run at this point? Or is, is there a button to run, but I just don't know it? Is this not going to be a little bit suspect, the fact that I'm walking out in clothes of the guy that they let in? Surely they would know. And then I'm completely walking past his car to go take a motorbike. Wait, what? Yeah, alright, mate. If say so. Fucking weirdos. I can't believe how fucking slow he walks. Done. I think we did pretty well with that. I, just, I can't believe we fucked up right at the end. That was the problem. Right at the end. Like, that was just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Getting caught right at the bloody end. All because I was stupid to try and see where clues were. Cool, that took me an hour to do that. Okay, I could do that a lot quicker next time though because I know exactly who to accuse. So I'd be able to get that done pretty damn fast. Because I'd just talk to him and just accuse someone straight away. Simple. Done. Oh nice, I've got a new lockpick. Not that I've been able to bring any lockpicks with me. Okay, pick up point from the bathroom. Hidden stash and deliveries. Oh nice, I could start in the garden as well next time. Nice, that weren't bad. Oh, do I have to watch some bullshit? No, oh, here we go. I guess our next job is to go rescue him then. Nope. Isn't that 47? Walk away. <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Tell the constant to start running. Okay, we're definitely not going to rescue him. He dead. You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnworth. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward. I think they should actually make a TV series of uh, Hitman. Because they tried doing the films, but they kind of messed it up by doing it where he's then all compassionate and everything like that. They should have actually just done a series of him doing the missions. That would have been quite cool. Are we done? Yay, we're done! Finally! Missed out on a lot of challenges, though. Complete the following. Death to the fount. Right, okay. Oh, was I supposed to kill them all? Right, 
All right, okay. God knows. Oh, well. Yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop that like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And, uh, yeah, if you want to watch me playing it live and have input, help me out, tell me what weapons to use, anything like that, head on over to twitch.tv forward slash thirdlegtv, where I am currently streaming it. Um, yeah, other than that, have a good one. Stay safe. Peace out.